Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. My channel is about all things and makeup related. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe. Today's tutorial is a beginner friendly everyday eyeshadow look. Um, there's a lot of steps in this tutorial, but it's beginner friendly and it is more of an everyday, somewhat smoky, glamorous eye look. I'm using the Soft Glam Palette on Anastasia Beverly Hills. A lot of people own this palette. It's old school. It's a ride or die palette. And I just like using older eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have several tutorials on my channel using this palette. And Anastasia Beverly Hills formula is one of my top favorite formulas. Highly blendable, pigmented, beautiful, stunning, unique shades. And this palette to me is the perfect beginner friendly palette. It has the most amazing tones, shimmers, mattes, just everything you would need. So we're just going to jump right into the tutorial. And here's a close up of the eye look. It's a smoky lash line with a defined crease and outer V. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and we're going to jump right into it. First, I'm going to go with a ColourPop E15. This is a nice fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to take the shade Orange Soda, which is right there. But I'm going to take just a really light hand with it because I don't want my crease to be too orange. And this is an everyday look. I'm just doing a light dusting of orange into my crease. I wear eyeshadow every day to work. Um, very minimal eyeshadow. But this is a beginner friendly everyday eyeshadow look. The formula of these eyeshadows are the easiest eyeshadows ever to blend and they're super pigmented and beautiful on the eye. They look so good on all skin tones and it's just all around a really good palette. Which is why I picked a palette for this kind of tutorial because for beginners it's important to have eyeshadows that are pigmented, blendable, true to color, that can look good on everybody um, and this palette really has that because you have these darker shades that look really good on deeper skin tones and then you have a bunch of lighter shades and it's just a really good all around palette. Okay. So a light dusting of orange soda in the crease. Next, I'm gonna take a more tapered blending brush. This is a Morphe JH31 and I'm gonna go with the shade Burnt Orange which is a more brown toned orange shade. And I'm gonna blend this into my lower crease. Just adding some definition to the eyelid. Rocking it back and forth right into that eye socket. My favorite eyeshadow brushes are ColourPop, Morphe, and Sigma. I have a pair from Morphe, the Ariel, Ariel um, brushes. Those are absolutely amazing worth the investment. They are kind of pricey, but they are my go-to all-around brushes. So just rocking that tapered blending brush right into the crease, just making sure the crease is nice and defined. This is a very warm tone look, but this is like a warm tone. It's like half warm, half cold, but definitely on the warm side. My wife does not like warm tone eyeshadows, so I don't use this palette on her. She looks much better with cool tone shades, but... Okay. So, next I'm gonna take this smaller detail blending brush. This is a ColourPop E21, and I'm gonna take the shade Rustic. Rustic is one of my favorite brown shades. It's like the perfect brown. And so I'm just going to blend this along my lash line, just like that, just blending, and then I'm going to take this up here in my outer V and just blend it into my outer V and up into my crease. So I'm just creating this all around easy, like smoky look, barely tapping the edge of this brush onto my lash line kind of like applying eyeliner and then on my outer V 
and then up into my crease with whatever's left very lightly. Kind of like carving out and shaping the eye. And then back in a blending brush, I'm going to use the JH Morphe 31 and I'm just going to blend out everything. What should I mean by this? It's just like tapping the brush on top of the colors and kind of just fading them out. So once you have like a darker lash line and a darker outer V, So once you have a darker lash line, darker outer V, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to get the shade Tempura. It's this beautiful, beautiful satin vanilla. It has like the slightest sheen to it. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to tap it up in here. Just like making this area super bright. But nothing, you know, too crazy. It's very pigmented. These shades are super pigmented and super soft. Again, why I love Anastasia Really Hills formula. I have like the Nouveau Rose Metals. I have most of them and I love them. The one I didn't get to pick up that I really wish I did was Carly Bible's palette. Did not pick that one up, but I wish I did. All right, so now I'm just gonna blend this out. So it's just like a, you know, very soft, blended look. Definitely, this is like an everyday eye look, but you definitely need some time to make this look. So, okay. So now that's blended out, I'm going to go back in <clears throat> with Rustic on that brush, and I'm going to just tap it here along the lash line. Tapping and shading like that. And taking my brush again and just blending out. That's how these looks like the very, you know, blended effortless looks are a lot of blending and just layering. So now that I have this kind of shape going on, I'm then going to take an angled brush. I'm going to take an angled brush. This is a lavish brow groomer brush. And I'm going to go with the shade right next to it, which is Cypress Umber. It's a really, really dark brown shade. And this is where I try to be as precise as possible, and I go really close to my lash line because I don't want a super smoky look. So I'm just like taking this, tapping off the excess, and then patting it like that. And I'm not doing a winged look because I feel like a wing is not an everyday type of look. So yeah. Just like really smoking out the lash line. And then I'm just going to take my finger and shade Glycerin and I'm just going to tap that on here. Up. 
I wasn't going to go with any shimmer, but I just feel shimmery right now. I feel like the shimmer just like adds something extra. Like that. So for my bottom lash line, I'm going to take the ColourPop E21 and go with the shade Rustic, which is the softer brown. And I'm just going to blend that into my outer lower lash line. This is like one of my go-to, one of my go-to um, placements of shadow. So then I'm just going to take a brush like this. I'm going to take the shade Tempura which is the whiter shade. And I'm gonna brush that slightly on my brow bone. Just to like highlight. And then I'm just gonna back in and blend out. And I'm really into nude eyeliner and this is the Essence Nude Eyeliner. It's only $3.99 and it's my absolute favorite. It's a really good formula. It's waterproof. It is so worth it. And I got mine from Amazon. My favorite inner corner highlight is the Laura Mercier 01 highlighter. So I was going to put this on my finger and then touch this into my inner corner. And then I'm gonna apply some mascara. The Rocket Maybelline is one of my favorites. And then I'm gonna apply the Wispy Arda lashes. All right, guys, that completes this look. I applied some false lashes and some bottom lash mascara. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.